also known as the bubonic plague, was a pandemic that took place in 14th century. It was caused by the bacterium called Yersinia pestis carried by fleas that live on the rat. The disease spread rapidly through Europe, Asia and Africa that caused widespread death and economic collapse. The symptoms include the sudden high fever, chills, body aches and swelling of limb not called bubos. Overall, it is estimated that the blood death killed around 75 to 200 million people, making it one of the deadliest pandemic in human history. It is the year 1347 and a deadly disease is sweeping across Europe. The Black Death, carried by fleas on rats, is ravaging towns and cities, leaving death and destruction in its wake. Doctors and scientists of the time were at a loss as to how to cure or prevent the disease, leading to some unusual methods of protection. The beak mask was filled with herbs and spices to help ward off the disease. The town crier would roam the streets, ringing a bell and shouting bring out your dead to alert the townspeople to the grim reality of the Black Death. The disease spread across Europe, killing an estimated 25 million people, or one-third of the population. However, from the devastation came progress. The Black Death led to advancements in medicine and hygiene, and paved the way for a better understanding of disease prevention. The Black Death is considered the second pandemic of bubonic plague. It originates in the steppes of Central Asia and spreads across the continent. On the shores of the Black Sea, warriors of the Golden Horde besiege the Genoese city of Kaffa. Weakened by the plague, they catapult their dead into the city to spread the disease. Rats also likely further contaminate the city. After the siege fails, Genoese sailors resume trade across Europe, spreading the plague in port cities. The disease then spreads inland. Only regions of Poland, Bohemia and Hungary are spared. The plague manifests strongly in densely populated areas and disproportionately affects the poor, the malnourished and those living in unsanitary conditions. Doctors are overwhelmed. In a few years, the disease killed 200 million people worldwide, a little less than half the European population. Our bubonic plague, septicemic plague and pneumonic plague, all of which are very serious. In the case of bubonic plague, patients experience very sudden onset of fever, chills, headache, and one or more painfully swollen lymph nodes called buboes. These relatively large buboes form in the neck, arms, or very commonly in the groin, with potential to spread to the rest of the body. With septicemic plague, the bacteria have moved into the blood. Patients with septicemic plague experience bleeding from their mouth, nose, or bottom bleeding under the skin, blackened and or dying skin, and vomiting, diarrhea, stomach pain, and shock. Finally, pneumonic plague is the rarest form in which the bacteria spread to the lungs. A patient might experience shortness of breath, pneumonia, bleeding, or bloody cough. Of the three types, pneumonic plague is the most serious and is the only type that can spread in the air from person to person. So what in the world causes it exactly? The causative agent of plague, Yersinia pestis, wasn't discovered until the 1894 pandemic. Some effects of the Black Death in Europe. The first one is demographic changes. The Black Death caused a significant reduction in the population of Europe. It is estimated that the pandemic wiped out between 30% and 60% of the population, leading to a severe shortage of labor and depopulation of some regions. The second one is economic effects. The Black Death led to significant economic effects in Europe. With a significant reduction in the workforce, the salary increase as competition for labor increased. The third one is medical advance. The Black Death led to particular advancement in medicine and healthcare. The pandemic led to the establishment of quarantine facilities and the studies of infection, disease and the development of the near treatment.